fingering is very personal to each individual violinist. For example, if I was to play the opening of the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto, I might choose to finger it this way. <laughs> choose to finger it this way. And now the, there are two choices there. I can go up the G string for a more sonorous sound, as I did in the first take. bring something of the, um, the deep felt quality to that, or I could go across the strings, which is slightly clearer. Both are equally valid, but I might choose to go for the first one, just on a personal level, but someone with a different shaped hand might do something very different. So there are artistic choices to be made here. In some Baroque music, in Bach, for example, you have to make very clear choices about whether you want to do open strings. For example, whether you want the open E sound, which sometimes is a little harsh on a metal string. So we do have to make those decisions. For example, in the opening of the D minor partita, the Allemande. <laughs> using a number of open strings as passing notes, which I think work very well, but I might not use the E string in that context.